and cut it, cut it. What happens to men like Cameron who are a bit dinosaur and, and over it? You know, do they just die? I think, I hope people say, oh yes, I've always, you know, I've always wanted to laugh at that, but I didn't quite know how or if I was allowed to. I loved her. You paid her. Oh, look at the work stuff. We go where other, others fear to tread. We want it to be entertaining, we want it to be funny, but if it makes you think as well, then that's a bonus. Steve was doing Greed with Michael Winterbottom and I had a little part in that and we were filming in Mykonos and I think it was kind of freshly after me too and we were having uh, some healthy debate about it, you know, and, he, and it was slightly like, has it gone too far? Can you say anything anymore? You know, from him and I was like, no, this is needed and this is what it means and this is what it's about and this is the pain and the suffering that we've had and we've endured and we're just having this reckoning where, you know, we're, Me Too is, was this collective confession, this declaration of what had happened to us. Sarah and I, after we had this quite heated exchange, uh, are very fond of each, we're very fond of each other, but we also have disagreements, and we thought it was a really rich, fertile basis for writing a series. And because we both work in comedy, we thought that we could uh, talk about some things that perhaps other people are worried, frightened to talk about, by using comedy as a way of um, putting people at ease, and they they are more open to to uh, having a nuanced discussion. So is this the house that you bring women that you want to manipulate? I don't like the word manipulate. I, uh, I prefer the word schmooze. I would never have attempted this on my own. And I think it's because the two of us have this tussle when we write. Uh, and it, it's, a, it's an authentic discussion. The whole point of the show is surprise. It's about um, thinking you're watching one thing and just totally throwing a curveball in there and audience is like, oh wow. Because life is surprising. Um, or you're constantly thrown by not just what, you, what, what, what you're observing, but um, how you're reacting to things. And one minute you can be really outraged at something and then the person you think is the, you know, is, is the enemy does something really nice and really tender and you're like, well, who, who are they? I'll put the roof down, some sunglasses in the little box. Come on, off your trot. Thank you. You have to take risks. You have to take risks to do stuff that's worthwhile. You have to risk failure to do good art. And um, that's what we're doing. We're risking failure. But I think, um, but, you know, I think we've got, I think the wind's behind us. This show is a release valve for a very kind of tense time. And it gives you permission to relax and laugh and enjoy the story and enjoy these characters sort of bump against each other without feeling like you're compromising anything, without feeling like you're um, undermining anything that's, that's really important that, that's happening in the culture right now.